Hello, bonjour, 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 bienvenue. This is Vero, Véronique, and my friend Linda. Bonjour. <laughs> We are in southern Brittany in a beautiful small town. Bonjour, bienvenue. We are in southern Brittany and uh, in a beautiful small town or village called Rochefort-sur-Terre. And you are very lucky because today on this tour, my friend Linda is joining me. So instead of having one Rick Steves Europe tour guide guiding you, dos. We have two today. Bonjour, bonjour, bonjour. Cindy. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start our little walk. And um, this is very, very much impromptu. We just uh, had a great walk here. We had ice cream. And we thought before I rush back to the train station to catch my train back, <laughs> we thought we would do this. So we're going to show you around and we hope you enjoy this little tour of Rochefort-sur-Terre. En terre. En terre. <gasps> How dare I? Okay, <laughs> Rochefort-en-Terre and here we go. Okay. So Linda, first let's show them this beautiful little square. And the beautiful little cat. Oh, that's right. Sitting on a bench. Minou. Minou. No, he's not interesting. <laughs> he's very pretty. So this is a lot of what we're going to see here, huh? Beautiful homes. Bonjour les amis, I see you popping in. Thank you for joining us. This is Vero and I am in a small village in South, Southern Brittany with my friend and fellow tour guide, Linda, who lives in this area and has been my tour guide here today. So let's go this way. Can everybody hear me? Can you confirm if you have a good sound on this? The sun is shining straight into the screen. Beautiful weather. Yes. Okay, let's see. I'm going to try and read a couple of messages to see if they can hear us. Bonjour, bonjour. Bonjour. Uh, is the sound okay for you? Because we only have one microphone. Yes. Okay, thanks, Lisa. <laughs> We're good. All right, Linda, please be the guide. Right, let's go and walk down a little bit to the church of the village. It's called Notre Dame de la Tronchée and it gets its name uh, from uh, an appearance of the Virgin Mary inside a trunk of a big tree. And so they did decide to build on the spot where that tree was a beautiful church. And here is the church in the village of Rochefort-en-Terre. And I know the sun is shining all right on it. I hope you can see it pretty well. I think you can. This is a beautiful church. We went inside a little earlier. Inside the ceiling is gorgeous. Yes, it's like a reverse boat. The, yeah, the hull of the boat. There, a lot of the chapels and churches around here. Uh, are we going to go this way or we that way? way? Okay. Yes. And uh, yeah, they look like the inverted hull of a boat and a section of it has little stars to, on it. Yes, beautiful blue stars. Um, so we, we're going to take here on the right. Huh? We're going to go up the stairs. Linda, in case you're joining us, this is Vero reporting from Rochefort en terre a beautiful village in southern Brittany and my friend and fellow tour guide Rick Steve's tour guide Linda is with me and thank you for confirming the sound is great and my friends look at this I've been I've been seeing this for quite a few days beautiful hydrangeas and look we have a local looking at us No. <laughs> no, he was. He was. He's like, forget it. I'm not looking at you. <laughs> And look at these beautiful hydrangeas. And so, Linda, tell us why this village gets so many visitors now. Why is it so popular? Well, it was uh, elected. Oh, pardon, sorry, monsieur. Pardon, monsieur. Uh, it was actually elected the favorite village for the French people in 2016. We have this TV. Uh, program competition, if you like, um, that they present maybe um, 20 different villages around France. Yeah. And so uh, when they visited uh, Brittany in 2016, all the French people voted on the internet that this village was their favorite. And it's been popular ever since. Ever since, yes. You were telling me there are big crowds here on the weekends. 
Yes, it's very busy. It's a it's a place you will you will come if you come and visit Brittany. It's on your on your list, really. You have to come and visit Rochefort en Terre. Well, good thing I did then. <laughs> yes. And good thing I had a great guide <laughs> and a friend to take me around. So we have seen quite a few people here today. We've been here for a couple of hours and um, the school uh, school is over now, right? It's over for two months. Um, so it's the beginning of the, the summer holidays. So uh, I, I only heard uh, French speaking. So I suppose it's only the, the French people, but maybe some Parisians. It's very popular for the Parisians to come to Brittany. They love it. Well, they have good taste, don't they? They do, absolutely. So we have some nice boutiques here. Um, we have um, restaurants and cafes, but really people come to see the beautiful homes and the flowers decorating or highlighting. Look at this one. We stopped here earlier. Look at this beautiful home. So in case you're wondering, people do live in those homes. It must be interesting to be here with so many tourists stopping by, but... Yeah, there's about 600 uh, people living in this village. So they have a local little school. Uh, they've got a retirement home. So they don't have uh, big supermarkets, but they have everything they need uh, nearby. This is wonderful. Hey, Nina is watching us. Another Rick Steve store guide. Bonjour, Hello. Nina. Bonjour, Nina. Our friend Nina, who uh, works in, uh, he's based in Avignon, in beautiful Avignon in southern France. Nina, this is Vero and uh, Linda. <laughs> Reporting from Southern Brittany, a stroll in Rochefort en Terre. And I just can't get enough of the flowers, the yes. geraniums. There's actually a very, oops, children. <laughs> <laughs> There's actually a very interesting story about those flowers in Rochefort en Terre. We have another competition in France, which is the most flowered uh, village. And it's uh, an election that take part every two years. And um, what is it called in French? Uh, Les villages fleuris. Oh, yeah. And okay. you can have a maximum of four flowers. It's like the four stars. Oh, yeah, the four star system, right? Yeah. So one, two, three, four. And of course, here in Rochefort, there you can see, huh, they don't miss on the flowers. So they, so are, they, they get have, the four, they the get four the flower four. rating, yeah. Um, but the interesting thing is, actually, this competition has been uh, running for nearly 100 years. Uh, was created here in Rochefort en Terre by Alfred Klotz, an American. Wow, did you hear that, my friends? It's yes. an American. I hope my accent was right. Alfred Klotz. Sounded pretty good to me. Right, and so we fell in love. He was a painter, fell in love with this Look at that, village. Friends. And uh, he uh, thought that the locals um, didn't put in value enough their properties, so he offered very kindly. Uh, free flowers for them to put on their side windows uh, everywhere they can and it's been kept that tradition and actually now it's all over France so uh, thank That's you right. America <laughs> yeah whenever you drive through France and you arrive in a town or village and you see that sign that says village fleuri and with a certain like up to four stars or four flowers on it it's part of the competition that Linda's talking about some of them have only one two three or four and what is this gentleman making here he's making Queen Amman Ooh. Ooh, that's a local speciality uh, well local uh, all over Brittany yeah? and so it's let's say bonjour, butter, monsieur. bonjour butter butter more butter and more sugar and more sugar, sugar and sugar. butter <laughs> and a little bit of flour but uh, sometimes you can have a flavored one you could have like here they have nature so plain plain palm with apple and big and small ones um, you could have some places where they put red fruit in it but so it's pure sugar pure and it's sugar. delicious Queen Amman huh? Queen Amman Queen Amman so look at look at the spelling this is really hard to pronounce huh? say it again it's Breton. Queen Amman and it's the Breton language yeah yes do we go this way next yes look at this building, building yeah beautiful. so you have two main stones in Brittany it's Mostly all the village have granite, which is the case with this, this place just in front of us. Yes. Or you could have, and here uh, they have this, if you can just maybe look here on your The sun's left. facing me, but oh, I'll do sorry. my best. We'll find another No, no, place, that's maybe. fine. I think they can it's, see. It's a schist. Schist, stone. yes. And, uh, this is a local stone. They actually had quarry making slates in this uh, village. 
Yeah, it was one of the two industries in the in the village. Huh? So slate. They, they make use slate. that for for building. Yeah. And um, this place is popular, I believe. It's the, the Café, Café Breton. Breton. Yeah. So tell us about this one. Well, the Café Breton is actually the oldest cafe in the old Brittany wow. region. Very old. Yeah. Now we did not go there because we had ice cream somewhere else. But I can see it's popular. Well, and we they had have a lovely licorice ice cream. Licorice ice cream was our pick, exactly. And here they make pain d'épices. So a lot of sweets you can buy here, not just your traditional crepes and galettes, other good things as well. And everywhere you look in the side streets, it's just beautiful. You have homes and you have flowers everywhere you look. So this really is, merci. This really is one of the most beautiful villages in France, isn't it? I'm going to try and show you the... Look at this, somebody put up. See those geranium boxes? <laughs> all the way up, all the it's way like up. The stairs. Now, how do they water these? That's what I want to know. Well, I think there's a little black tube on the side. So you see, oh, you see uh, it's self-watering? Yeah. Yes. Oh. Because, hello. <laughs> <laughs> this one sells toys, wooden toys. Oh, it could Jouer. be a little corrigan who comes and water the plants. What is a corrigan? Ah, a corrigan is like a, a tiny little uh, magical um, person who lives in the woods. Yes. Like the elves, you say yes, elves in English? Yes, the elves, yeah. Yes, the same, but here they call them the corrigan. Well, we haven't met a corrigan, though we did look, didn't we? We did. I didn't see a Corrigan. I was a little bit disappointed. <laughs> but they live in the woods. I know. I know. Maybe that calls for another visit. Huh? <laughs> so where are we now? Well, this is uh, another square. So here on my right, you have the Campbell, the Mary with beautiful wisteria. Oh, we need to step back for this. Let's do this. Oh, we have music. Okay, so this is the city hall, but the sun's shining behind it, so I'm doing my best. So you have the European flag, the French flag, and of course the Brittany flag. Huh? Let's the get closer to this. Here they are, the flags. Yeah, better. Here we go. Can you describe the Brittany flag? Right. Though it's not flying right yeah, now. It's but. a shame, but it's, it's lines. The, 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 the white and the black lines are um, to show you the different regions. We call it actually the pays. Uh, so the pays de van, the pays de brosselion. So pays, P-A-Y-S in France. Yes, the part. You could, yeah. you could translate that by the part. And on the top, you have like a little rectangle with the ermine fur on it uh -huh. and that's a symbolic uh, since Anne de Bretagne was a duchess in this region and that was uh, like a, a, a symbol uh, for a family and they kept that because she was the last uh, duchess uh, to uh, sit on the throne because there was a throne in Brittany before Brittany became part of France. Of France. Exactly. Yes. And that yeah, was it's in a the 16th century. 16th century. It's a beautiful flag. It's too bad it's not flying. We might catch another one later. Well, so we this don't is want too much wind. <laughs> no, no, that's right. We've had that, haven't we? <laughs> so here we have, um, yeah, see what I was saying? Look at the side street here. I mean, you can't get a bad street here. This is why it is one of the most beautiful villages in France. You see? Everywhere you look. So the song we're hearing is Charles Aznavour, Emmenez-moi, that those two uh, musicians are playing. It's a very famous song. Take me away, Emmenez-moi. Not an easy song to sing, actually. It's fast. Yeah. And here we have another beautiful building. So you can see the, the sheet stone here. The stone, yes. Very flat. Very thin layers of that stone piled up on top of each other. That's how they build, huh? It's a little different from what I've seen around here. Which way do we go next? What do you think? This way? Yes. Okay. The musicians are here. Here we go. Love me. 
Maybe we can turn here. Turn here? Yes. Venelle Petite Charrière, off we go. Follow the tour guide. Today you have two tour guides. In case you just joined us, this is Vero, still exploring southern Brittany, but today I'm very lucky to have a good friend with me, another fellow Rick Steve tour, Rick Steve's tour guide, Linda, who lives in this area. Bonjour tout le monde. <laughs> bonjour, bonjour. And we will introduce ourselves again at the end of the video before I rush to the train station to take my train back to Baden, which is my home base on this trip. Oh, look at this. This is lovely. Yeah, we're way a bit from the crowd. Yes, we are in Rochefort-en-Terre. I see some of you asking. I put that in the intro, but in case you haven't seen it, this is one of the most beautiful villages in France. It's rated a four star, four star rating, which is the highest rating you can get if you are a small town or village in France or a city for that matter. So let's see. We, we're lucky that when we go on tour for Rick, we do see a lot of these cities um, belonging to the Village Fleury uh, network. There are a, yeah, there's a sign at, uh, just underneath the, the entrance name of the city and uh, you, you can't really miss it. So you have the name of the town and just underneath they show you Village Fleury or Ville Fleury and the numbers of, of, of flowers tells you, you know, it's going to be lots of flowers if you have four. Just the minimum if you have only <laughs> one flower. I think they also rate, it's not just how the city looks and how clean it is, they also, and how many uh, green spaces it has. I also, I think one of the criteria is how welcoming they are to tourists and what kind of facilities they have. Yes. Yeah, it's part of the, I, I'm sorry I have to stop here, but I can't get enough of the hydrangeas in Brittany. <laughs> they are just, and they're so big, and they come in many different colors and I just can't get enough of them. They're everywhere. Um, I can't really read the comments because of the light, but I'm trying to take a peek once in a while. So again, forgive us, we're not trying to ignore you. But the sun makes it challenging to read the comments. I mean, look, more hydrangeas. Woo. So which way now, tour guide? We go this way. Okay. Yes. Oh, Can look. you see the, the rock just in front of us? This is like a natural geographic... Uh, a stop between the two different country, the two different pays, huh? so the two different areas. So you're talking about the big uh, hill, the hill the with the hill rocky there. hill. You see the rocky yeah. hill with yeah. the little purple uh, flowers there. You see the color, and uh, so it's heather. I think it's heather. Bruyère. Oh, Bruyère. Yeah, Bruyère. Yeah, Bruyère. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's the the limitation between the two different parts. So here we are on Pays de Van, and on the other side you are in a magic land. It's called Pays de Brocéliande. Ah, the forest of Brocéliande, yes. the famous forest. Yes. So Brittany is like that. It's the land of fairies. you know fairies and ah, even witchcraft, huh? It yes, says. there is a witch, a famous one here, Naya. Oh, and she has her own museum, doesn't she? She has her own museum. Yes. See, this village had its own witch. Naya is her name? Naya. 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 She was here in the 19th century, and apparently she had special power, and she could uh, heal people, but she could also put some bad uh, clouds over your head. So you <laughs> had to be careful and not give her a bad look. <laughs> Naya. Naya. I see more flowers coming up. It's hard not to have any flowers in Rochefort-en-Terre. I am telling you that this is probably the most flowers I've seen since I got here in one place. <laughs> it's just everywhere. Well, we do get a lot of rain in the winter, so it's very green. Huh? You don't ah. need to water the flowers so much. I'm excited because this week is supposed to be more, I mean, sunnier than last week. So, and so far so good, huh? Yes. This is great. Nice this morning, Linda and I met in her town where she lives and we went to a beautiful market where Linda had to pick up lunch. And I filmed the video of that market, which I will be sharing later. And I also took a lot of photos. So let's see this. Oh, look at this. I mean, more flowers. I wasn't lying. <laughs> look at this. And right next to the cross here, I'm going to show you Sorry about the sun facing us here, but you can see. Uh, here's an interesting sign, actually. No, no worries, Linda. <laughs> you see the sign? It says, Voie sans issue, sauf riverain. 
Riverain is a good word to know in French. It's for people, for, it, it basically means locals. So in a street, even when a street is a dead end street or you cannot get in, often you'll see exceptions for les riverains, who are the people who live on that street. So now when you see that sign, you'll know what it means. Oh, and look where she took us. <laughs> you must be a tour guide, Linda. It's pretty, yeah? Yes. We have 84 people watching us. Oh, bonjour. And many more to come after that <laughs> during the replay, probably. Since this was a bit impromptu. Are you ready for some exercise? Oh, I'm supposed to climb these stairs while yeah. holding this? Excellent. Well, I'll be out of breath, so you'll be doing the talking. <laughs> Off we go. Workout after the ice cream. Bonjour, bonjour, my friends. I see your messages. Thank you for joining us. This is Vero exploring southern Brittany with her friend and fellow tour guide, Linda. Bonjour. <laughs> so far, so good. We only have 200 steps to go. Here we go. At least it's in the shade, huh? Yes. Well, that's why we have so many patisseries in France. We can, you know, burn those calories after <laughs> Probably true. Oh dear. You didn't tell me there were 500 stairs. Look at you. You're not gonna burn that ice cream in five seconds. <laughs> no, you are right. Okay. It's really nice the shade here. Whoop. Can't miss a step. <laughs> The video is going blurry. That's probably because with all these old, old stones, the connection is not very good. It'll get better. Okay, I'm about to die here. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> It's worse sometimes when you do the most. No, I'm trying not to be rude and pant heavily <laughs> in the microphone. Oh. Okay. You're nearly there. Yes, mom. <laughs> this is what, yeah. What are friends for? This is where Linda takes me as I'm holding a selfie stick. Okay, did it. Yeah. Somebody asked what the temperature was today. 24. 24 Celsius? Yes. Okay. So what's that? What's that? Uh, let's see. Are you like me? I could never quite learn the... No, I'm really bad at mathematics. <laughs> <laughs> Should I show this? Oh yes, the little chapel. Because mm -hmm. we were there earlier. So this is the outside wall of the chateau. So the chateau is not there anymore. Mm -hmm. um, Alfred Klotz, the, the American guy who American did so guy. much for this town. Actually, when he uh, came to Rochefort, fell in love with a ruin of an old uh, chateau who was here in the 12th century, but was pretty much run down in the 19th century. So he bought it, but there was some building, uh, like the side building where you would find the stables. And he managed with the rune to rebuild uh, a small chateau, if you like, and they've kept the ramparts. And uh, so, so the high walls, the high ramparts are up there, yes. all the walls. And uh, yeah. he's done a nice renovation of the little chapel. Yeah, we were in the chapel earlier. It's very simple, but very pretty on the chateau grounds. Your comments, <laughs> somebody says your comments are too funny. <laughs> so 24 Celsius is 72. Okay, so the temperature for those of you who asked is 72 Fahrenheit this afternoon, which is just about perfect. We have 102 people watching. For those of you who just tuned in, this is Vero, still exploring Southern Brittany. One more day, another day, another fun adventure. But this time I am with my friends. Stay where you are, Linda. I'm going to put you right in the frame. This lovely lady, Hello. 
<laughs> this is Linda, my friend and fellow Rixty store guide who lives in this area. And this is the second time. <laughs> yes, you have a lovely smile. And this is the second time we've met on this trip. And she's been my tour guide today in Rochefort en Terre. Yeah, it's about 74 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah. So we are on some of the back streets. Huh? This is not the main street. Yeah, we're place. in the quiet streets. And, and you can see, see, Linda was just telling you the, the old chateau. You can still see the walls that they've kept up, th up there. It's very pretty. And the stone here, you can really see how they lay them. So this is what you were telling us about the people here using schist. Huh? Yes. And because slate, they made slate and uh, it was a big industry in this area. And you can see how the stones, schist, are really piled up, very thin, probably very heavy too, huh? Well, apparently it was one of the best quality of slates. That, that you could find in yes. France. So the, the village was renowned for it? Really, yeah. Ah. Not anymore. Huh? They've emptied pretty much all the quarries. So. Carol Ann says she'd love to do a tour with us too. She'd have a great oh, time, wouldn't she? she'd have a great time. Yeah. But we'll have a great time. We're, fi <laughs> we're fun ladies. <laughs> 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 Look at this. Sometimes the gates are too high and you can't really see what's above them. But with a selfie stick, you can get a little higher. <laughs> there you go. Maybe you were able to see something that I can't see. And here we go, going back to the main street. They're saying we're a good combination, Vero and Linda. It helps that we're good friends too. It does help. <laughs> and here we go. Continuing, oh, we're headed toward that candle store. I love that candle store. Yeah. See how quiet it is now? A lot of people are leaving, huh? It's the end of the afternoon here. You have to prepare the dinner, yeah. I had lunch at Linda's house and met her lovely husband today. We had a nice lunch and then we came out here and explored. And this morning before lunch, we went to the market. Questonbert market. In yes. Questonbert, the town where Linda lives. And Wait until you see the video of that beautiful covered market that dates back to the 16th century. 16th century. Yes, Les Halles, the covered market. Just lovely. Great merchants too. So like I said, we have boutiques, you see. This is, this is a good word for you to know, next to the uh, gargoyle here. This is called the Chapellerie. Chapellerie is a store that sells hats. And Vannerie, a store that makes baskets, usually. But this one sells uh, bags as well, bags and baskets. So lots of fun little boutiques. And is this, is this the alarm that reminds us there's a train to catch, Linda? Is uh, this, or is it a ferry? It's another one. Uh, we have another minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, another minute. So this is the candle store here and it's lovely. They have really homemade, um, it's Art. a shame you can't smell it, but it smells really Yes, I nice. can smell. It's very pretty in here. The candle store. Take a peek Did discreetly. It? Did it? Oh, so Lauren says you were her guide last summer, Linda. Oh, on Lauren. what tour? What tour was it, Lauren? Because Linda does several tours. So now we are heading out of the village and I think we'll probably stop by the Poilu over there because ah, yes. I love that Poilu. I think he's one of the best I've seen recently. And then we will be racing back to the train <laughs> station so Vero can make it back in time. <laughs> be another adventure. <laughs> another adventure waits tomorrow in another lovely place. So many good adventures in Brittany, so little time. More boutiques on the right hand side. Look at that. Well, I think Veronique has fallen in love with Brittany, so uh, yes, I she's have. going to have to come back again. You can count on it. <laughs> <laughs> People are so friendly here. Why not come back? Why not come back here? Ah, this is definitely the alarm for the train, <laughs> isn't it? Yes. <laughs> Get ready to see two Rick Steves Europe tour guide Running. sprint back to their <laughs> car <laughs> any minute now. Uh, here is the, um, we are right outside the former grounds of the chateau actually that Linda was telling you about. And this building here is a gorgeous uh, bookstore. And if you go, look at this door. I think I'll show you this beautiful door. 
probably been here for a really long time. Made of wood. Can you see the carvings on the door? There you go. And so if you walk up this pathway, this is how you get inside the chateau or the chateau grounds at least, huh? Very nice alley. It's a beautiful site and lined of course with the beautiful platane, plane trees that France is famous for. Lovely place. More hydrangeas. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We've seen these. <laughs> yes, it is a beautiful day. Last week was a little iffy at times, though it never got cold. But let's wrap up here and we'll say our goodbyes. This is a school, right? Just behind, yeah, it's a big building. Uh, they used to have very uh, big building because there was two parts, one for the boys, one for the girls, but not anymore. But that's why the schools are big in France. Yes, and so this to me is a very French site in any small town or village because you have the school, the public school in the background. Is it public or private now, do you know? This one is public. Okay, and so in the foreground here is um, Poilu. Poilu was the name of the infantry soldiers during World War I and as you very well know, uh, many, many Frenchmen lost their lives during World War I. And you have those memorials in just about every village and town. And I like this one because it's very simple and if, I think effective, isn't it? So, of course, I'm facing the light. I hope you can see him. And the names, you can hardly, hardly read the names anymore of locals who fell during World War I. And as always, it's very sad to see that some of the last names are repeated. Like I see Rouxel, there is a last name on the right hand side, R-O-U-X-E-L. And that last name has, you have three, three from the same family. And that's a small village. And you see that all over France and that's very moving. All right, Linda, let's say goodbye to our friends. I'm going to switch this around. <laughs> voilà. Voila. <laughs> we have still over 100 people uh, wow. watching. That's, that's <laughs> nice. I tell you, they, they're really enjoying discovering Brittany or revisiting Brittany for some of them. So thank you so much for joining my friend Linda and, and myself here today. There'll be more fun tours and um, we have to run because I have a train to catch. A bientôt les amis. Merci Linda. Au revoir, mon plaisir. <laughs> Au revoir. <laughs> Au revoir.